Hey guys, in Abilene, Texas today, and we are going to check out the Frontier Texas Museum. So they have these cards when you come in called What's My Fate of Frontier, Texas. You have a character of a real person that um, lived during this time. And then at the end, you insert your card and they tell you what happened to that person, what their fate was. So we're walking in downtown Abilene today. Um, the Frontier Texas Museum was really cool. Um, that theater I showed you with the round stools all around you were screens and they um, had like a gunfight, a thunderstorm. Uh, what else did they have guys? They had like uh, these Native Americans were, uh, you didn't hold on. They were like attacking this uh, little village. So it was this whole like raid thing mm -hmm. and they were buffalo hunting some on one of them. Yeah. Yep. And it was all around us. So oh, and they were driving cattle. So the people were on one side of the theater, and they were like, look at that. And you turned around, and then there were buffalo behind you, and they were shooting at them. It was yeah. pretty cool. And then they talked about stagecoaches. They had, like, a hologram screen type of thing in each section to tell about it. I had a really good time. I thought the videos, there was a video at the beginning and a video at the end, and they were really well done. And um, it was fun. We had a good time. So also while we've been staying here in Abilene, we have checked out all of the storybook statues around town. Abilene is the storybook capital of America. And so they have lots of statues around town of like Dr. Seuss characters and lots of different characters from storybooks. Across the street. Um, they also have the Center for Children's Literature and that was really beautiful inside. Uh, the Grace Museum, which is an art and history museum. Um, they had like an event for Day of the Dead here, which was really interesting. We didn't know a lot about that before, so we attended that. And um, we went to the Abilene Zoo for Boo in the Zoo. Here we are outside Abilene 12th Armored Division Museum. This is what Jackson chose to do while we were downtown. So we're gonna go check it out. So they have military vehicles on display here. This is their alley cat. They got like a Says cooked rat on it. <laughs> and a tank. So the 12th Armor Division um, call themselves the Hellcats and they liberated um, prisoners in a Nazi concentration camp. I want to make sure I get the name right. It was a German prison camp called the Herlock Lager No. 4 near Landsberg, Germany, and they were able to save people um, there and liberate the camp and then um, prosecute um, for the war crimes. So um, one thing that I found really interesting in there, in the museum, there was all this stuff with the Hellcats, but they also had these white uniforms that you'll see in one of my pictures or one of the videos that I show, and they were called Hell Kittens uniforms. So the women back home on the home front that were the wives and girlfriends or the guys that were 
um, deployed, made these uniforms for themselves, and they wore them while the guys were gone, kind of like a wives club at home. And I thought that was really neat. If you come to Abilene, make sure to check out all these cool murals all over town.